Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this outside, inside, freestyle Delta kite. This kite is going to be a very bright, uh, colorful mountain scene uh, with the sun there. Uh, this is going to be a great option to uh, take advantage of those windy days while you're out at the campsite or on a picnic, something like that. It does have a nice heavy-duty nylon fabric, and our poles are a fiberglass material, so they're going to be very lightweight and still strong, uh, so very durable. It comes with a limited lifetime warranty, and so you know it's going to hold up well and do a good job for you. I do want to have a little fun right out the gate here and show you how this is going to fly. So I've got a fan set up in my studio to uh, give you an idea of how it's going to catch the wind. So you can see it's going to do a good job uh, flying around for you. Should be a lot of fun for you and the kids or the grandkids or uh, whoever you have out there with you at your campsite. Um, this is going to also be a very uh, easy to uh, use kite. It's got a 98 foot braided cord that wraps around uh, this circular holder. So you can easily hold on to that, let out rope as you need, just kind of spin it in your hand. So very easy to use. And then you can lock it in place, that little attachment on the inside there so that uh, the rope won't continue to let out if you have it right where you want it. Now, when we have it fully assembled like it is now, it is right about 46 inches or uh, just a couple inches short of four feet wide from the bottom tip all the way over to the bottom tip and right at 24 inches or about two feet tall. Uh, we do have a 56 inch long tail, so that's going to be nice and long, give us lots of uh, color and movement to make it more fun as it's catching the breeze. A really nice thing about this kite is how easy it is to uh, break down and store. So Basically, on the back side here, you've got these poles. So you've got a cross pole and your spine pole. You just pull those out, and those will come apart. Do the same thing for our spine pole. And then we can just fold up our kite. We also have a few uh, poles that need to be disconnected on either side here to make it fold up a little bit smaller. Very easy, just kind of a, a socket for that pole to fit into. And you can basically fold it up any way you want. It comes folded in a certain manner. So if you want to try and replicate that, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and put my poles right here in the middle and fold this up. You will wanna make sure that you're doing this when your kite is dry. So if you were to have cotton uh, gotten caught in the, the rain or something like that, uh, you will want to make sure that it dries out before you fold it up. The attachment for our pin here, this is uh, attached to our kite with this kind of safety pin type latch there, so you can just pull that out. It will allow us to roll up our extra line, keep that separated. Very easy to do this whole process. Probably the most difficult part is just all the, the length of the, the tail there and our side ribbons. But you get the basic idea. And then you can easily store it in the bag here. Uh, when you have it stored, it's going to drop from that uh, four feet by two feet down to about five and a half inches by 17 feet, or sorry, 17 inches. Uh, so very easy to just keep under your seat in the vehicle uh, or in the camper, wherever it is that you're planning on using this. Uh, so very easy to break down and store and then very easy to then reassemble. So the, uh, the spine has the rubber knobs on the end of them. 
can see those there. We'll just put those pieces together, so I need metal, and then our other pieces, you want to put the white ends together like so. We'll open up our kite again. Reattach those inner bars. Very easy to do, just like the, uh, the spine and the crossbar. There's a little bar with a metal opening. So just line those up inside. Slide them in. And push that down to the bottom. And then we're ready to install our crossbar. And our spine so that it gives it the rigidity it needs to catch the wind. We'll insert our spine into these pockets. We're ready to go out and have some fun. But of course, one step I forgot, gotta attach the line here. Just reverse the process that we did when we undid it. Very, very easy to get this all set up. Won't take very long at all. So if you have some impatient little ones waiting for you to go out with them, uh, it just takes a couple minutes to get this all set up and you'll be ready to go enjoy a nice windy day. So that's gonna complete our look at the outside inside freestyle Delta kite. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.